Welcome back. The Cleveland Museum of Art is a world-class collection in our own backyard. It is always free to the public. A fun indoor idea on a cold day, maybe even a date night location you need to look into. So joining us live right now is Todd Messick. Todd, good morning. I understand there's good a couple morning. new uh, good morning. I understand there's a couple new acquisitions for folks when they stop by the museum. What's there to see? Yeah, there's a, a bunch of new um, new sculptures, new paintings, and that's one thing we we want to share is it's like we're always changing the collection. So you know, at the CMA, you have these collections of you know 15th century, you know, impressionists like classics uh, from the Monet and and uh, Picasso, but we're also acquiring regularly, thanks to the courtesy of our donors, um, new artists like artists from. Um, Africa, Inga Shonabari, who uh, we just recently created his bird's cage uh, sculpture, which represents the, the plight of, of um, black Americans from the Jim Crow South up to the North. Uh, there's a recent acquisition from Amy Sherald, who was known for the uh, famously for painting Michelle Obama's portrait. So every day there's new objects coming in the galleries um, alongside the classics as everybody's come to um, know and love. But the, the other thing I always want to reiterate again and again is that, you know, thanks to our founders and our donors, this is all available to Cleveland for free. This is one of the world class museums, one of the top museums in the country. But unlike most museums, especially of this caliber, it's free and open to the public. So we always want to let people know that you've got this really world class treasure in your backyard. Come in, enjoy the atrium you see behind me. You know, just really enjoy. It's a great Cleveland treasure and a great way to kind of keep that culture perpetuated. It is. We're lucky to have this treasure in our backyard, as you mentioned. You know, we're coming into February. Folks might be thinking Valentine's Day, maybe a date night in the winter. I understand that could maybe be fun at the museum as well. I, I love that you asked that because <laughs> that's the other thing. People say, you know, why don't you stay open a couple dates? So every Wednesday and every Friday, we stay open late till 9 p.m. The other thing, well, I always want it because it's it's hard. You know, we have so many things to talk about. It's hard for some things to break through. We've got a great restaurant, cafe. You can come in and have a, you can have a, just a, a simple sandwich or you can have a fine dining experience from Doug Katz and grab a drink. Come in. It's a great date night. And also Valentine's Day this year is on Wednesday. So that's, you know, Wednesdays and Fridays we're open late. So it's just a great time, whether it's a Saturday, you know, morning like today or a Wednesday or Friday night just to come in. Doesn't cost you a dime. Just come in, enjoy the atrium, especially in this weather. It's a great place. And that the food, the dining, and most of all, the art is, you know, even if you're not a, a, a PhD in art history, these are some of the great treasures of, of, of our um, culture um, that, are, that are preserved here, that are exhibited here in Cleveland. And so even if you don't know a ton about it, there's people that can help you. There's an Art Lens digital app that can help people, you know, make their way into it um, and learn more about the art. But it's just really a great thing that, you know, our, our founders have made this free for us. And we just want everybody to experience it for that same uh, reason, because we want that art to be um, there for everyone to create transformative experiences. Todd Messick from Cleveland Museum of Art, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Everyone should go and check Thank this you. out. Thank you.